Yo, this is Andy B, and I've got a couple of guests in the Point Blank Studios right now. These guys are two of the biggest grand DJs in the scene at the moment. And they've just released their CD, their mix CD, Rinse 17. They've got their regular spot on Rinse FM, and they're the founders and owners of the record label, Butters. Currently working alongside the likes of Terra Danger, Swindle, Royalty, and others. These are my personal mates that I ain't seen in a little while. Give it up, it's Elijah and Skillion. What's good, guys? What's happening? What's happening, Andy B? It's been a while. I want to just quickly find out from the beginning, kind of, how you lot kind of got to where you lot are at now. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm going to start from the beginning, literally, and just ask, how did you guys individually uh, start DJing and at what age? Uh, started DJing about 14, 15. I was like a DJ for MCs and stuff. It was on the radio and stuff, I was doing shows with them and I was like a DJ's MC. MC MC's DJ rather. And then sort of slowed down a bit through like college and stuff, still buying records. Ooh. Came to university and met Elijah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't really on it fully. Yeah, 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 sure. Come to about third year. It was a pastime. Yeah. yeah. Third year of uni, he's like, okay, it's our radio show. Okay, cool. On, on the university radio station. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Elijah, about you, bro? Uh, the, my experience is a bit different. Like, I was buying records just because that was the only way I could buy the music that I like. It wasn't on a CD or tape or MP3 at a time. And then it gets to a point where you want more tunes that are not you know, necessarily out on vinyl. So you think, like, let me just contact this producer to and get this. And then build up into the stage with doing radio. Then it was like, all right, doing this, might as well. Take it yeah, to the next yeah, level. Yeah. Once you start it, you just like you can't, you can't really start that. I hear that, I hear that. So um yeah, like I said, the last time I met you guys, three, four years ago, you guys were doing uni radio at the time. So in that period obviously I haven't seen you. Suddenly you guys are on rinse. So what was the link? What how did how did that happen? How did that come about? Uh at the time like Funky House was like the biggest thing on rinse and in the clubs in London and grime had kinda of gone down, so they were like waiting to bring in some new grime DJs and were kind of out there, you know, putting out mixes online, and they offered us like a pilot show, and we did that one Saturday evening, and they just kept on giving us a couple of shows to do here and there, and that was happening for about five months until they gave us a permanent slot, and that was in April 2009, and then since then, we've been doing like a weekly show and covering every time we got called to do it. So, so um, yeah, so. Suddenly, how did you guys suddenly come up with, with you know, start starting up a label? You know, obviously, particularly in, in, in an era when vinyls ain't really selling, do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, I just think a lot of the shoes we were playing weren't coming out, so they needed the outlet. And then, when a lot, a lot of, at the time, a lot of other people weren't really doing it, so it kind of, the whole circle would have been pointless if we were playing these people's music on the radio, giving them a platform, but they didn't have a platform to sell it, then well, there'll be no point playing. So there's no, move forward, there's no forward movement. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's no forward movement from that. So it's just kind of the cycle. So after working with all these artists as a part of your label, ain't you guys going to be planning to do some sort of Butters album at some point or not? Um, not at the moment because we're just trying to get the like, music individually back on the map. So it's easier to do that with singles. I feel like I find that even if you make a mistake, so like, have a month, a month to get out another tune. Sure, you kind of write a few wrongs, but um, and I think on singles you can cover like a lot of different, a lot of different kind of areas. But like, with the album, it's like you kind of have to go for one mood, and I ain't really found a like, mood that I'll do that. And with sales and stuff, like even though the value of music is low, I prefer to put out seven releases instead of one. One package, that means yeah. things move quick. And like, I think it's, it's sort of the ice that we work with, it's down to them sort of do their own albums as well. So it's like it's not a priority for us, rather, where it's for them, they're making music. It might be it's a bigger thing for them than it is for us to do like an album. Sure, sure. Okay, so um, let's talk about the uh, uh, Rinse Mix CD. So, how, how did that suddenly come about? You got a phone call, I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, one afternoon they called me and said, Do you ever want you to do the Rinse CD? And I just, 
I don't I haven't asked why, I just assume it's just part of you know, being part of the station for two years sure. and consistently doing shows and, and having our own movement. I think Rinse respect people that don't rely on Rinse and to get to get loved. I mean we've got our own buzz going on, and we do our own shows, you know, here internationally and it's kinda of like a celebration of being doing our own thing. Yeah, 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 I can, I can imagine. Have the two of you ever um, considered venturing into other parts of the other parts of the industry, like producing? I, I do a bit in my spare time, but not, it's, it's, it requires a lot of time and patience sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You got it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I play the tunes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with me, I'm not I'm not interested in the music industry, like, and that's probably what holds back part of like the musical vision of the bar swing. But then it's like it strengthens it on another part because I, if I feel like I'm only here to put out music, then I don't have any other kind of agendas. I don't have to you know put house mixes on things to get love elsewhere. I don't really sure. Want yeah, so, yeah. Like the kind of limitations has made us really strong. Like if we could, if we would want it to get you know loads of money, I'd just be like, all right, let's go and pay ten grand and get a Tiesto remix or something. Sure, but because that, that's not our idea of things, so then. It's been kind of easy to build this like niche. But cool. In terms of producing that, that, yeah, I'll leave that to the producers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but what if what some of these future guys wanted to kind of get onto your label? Uh, there's no. The, the only route is just to be, be played, and that that's always the first the first point of call. If you're being played, then there's going to be opportunity. If you're being cons consistent, and being played, then and making your own moves as well. You don't, like I always say this to people, you don't want to take on someone that is, wants to be one one of your people. Like, you know what I mean, you want to take on someone that wants to be their own boss and sure. do their own thing and have their own idea of how they want to be perceived, you know what I mean? But like, someone that's a blank canvas ain't cool to me. Like, I want someone that's even necessarily like, hard-headed about like, the way they want to do things. Like Swindle, Royalty, Terra Angel, they work three different ways. And, we, like me and Skinny, have to respect the way their their music wants to be handled. Like Swindle won't allow remixes to his tunes and stuff like that. So okay. you can't say just because it's on our label we're allowed allowed to do it and stuff like that. So the easiest way, just yeah, just get the tunes played and heard by as many people as possible. Shouts are, are obviously Bartlett.co.uk, uh, Rinse FM and the artists that's kind of always changing as it always will um, yeah yeah that's it let's give them hit, hit them up man <laughs> all right if you want to hear us talk nonsense or hear me talk nonsense <laughs> at skill all that like, label stuff but it's label at but it's label i don't know if Nigel wants his one put out there no but you don't <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah, the shop very buttons are coming here so you get all the merchandise and stuff yeah, that's it, Rinsa, I think, you can catch us. Uh, right at the moment, Thursday nights, one to three. Thanks for having us. Yeah, 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 I was just going to say, thank you. Not nice that you guys came in for me, you know what I mean? Um, you're welcome at any time, and I'm sure I'll be hearing from you guys again. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll say one more time, just be sure to cop the uh, mix the mix CD, which is Rinse 17, which you can pick up at, um, at iTunes and yeah, other retailers. It be at F since stores nationwide, yeah. All right then, it's Andy B signing out.